it's late at night and Ripley for some reason is still awake so I've decided to give her a little midnight snack well it's not quite midnight but the bird version in hopes that it might make her a little sleepy I think she slept a little bit late today probably because I also slept late and she seems to frequently be on my same sleeping 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 cycle jeez I cannot talk lately can I anyways I've given her some blueberries here and usually this is just what we do in the evenings is chill out here and I can work on something or watch something and she just kind of hangs out she gets into trouble every once in a while I have to stop what I'm doing and get her out of trouble <laughs> clean up after her whatever delicious she loves blueberries that's her favorite food by far which is a good thing because that is one of her main foods that she gets even though she has it every day she can't get enough of them Let's see if she might want to catch one you want to catch there you go make it a little game comes another one Ooh, that was quick very dexterous bill in spite of its size nope, she didn't like that one anyone who owns a bird knows that oh, screwed that one up hold on can I eat it now? No? Anyone that knows a bird knows that they are very picky eaters, regardless of species. I'll put it back there for her. Maybe she wants to pick her own out this time. Delicious. She eats this and a, and a mix of um, sometimes papaya, but mostly blueberries. And then uh, there's a special dry food made for soft bills and other iron sensitive birds. So she eats that as well. That's her source of uh, protein intake. It's really not a good idea to give them crickets or pinky mice or whatever, mealworms, whatever else in captivity because it's harder to know exactly what's going into them. They can eat insects and other things in the wild pretty fine, but in captivity, um, you know, homegrown mealworms or whatever are grown on a farm or wherever else you might get them from PetSmart or wherever can have a lot of iron in it or parasites not always but it's not really worth the risk it's better to just try to control their diet as much as possible because things grown here are just not the same as what can be found in South America Matter of fact, when you buy papaya and give it to them, it has to be a marital papaya. It can't be a Hawaiian papaya. So papayas from Mexico and South America are good. Others, not so much. You done already? 
There she goes. <laughs> if you're interested in learning more about Toucans, please subscribe to our channel. And also, we have a Patreon account now. So if you'd like to support or adopt Ripley and I and help us continue to produce these videos and hopefully go out to other zoos and uh, even film some in the wild, you can support us through here.